Hey everybody, here's a look at the Corpus Christi Lithium Refinery Plant. Hey everybody, it's Joe and I am back on my way to Starbase to see Starship flight number eight. It was a great opportunity to stop here at the Tesla Lithium Plant and get an update since I was last here at the beginning part of January. Now a lot has changed and you'll see that through the main video, but a few things that I want to point out here in the intro of interest. First, I started a high altitude. I wanted to try to give you a good sense of the entire site before we get down low and see some of the details. And what we can see is that they've made a lot of progress with the main plant, at least half of it, which will eventually be two parallel processing lines. What we can see is that large material handling warehouse that the spodumene concentrate six comes into is pretty much completed, but on the south end, we can see in a loading bay, it looks like they have some of these uh, white ramps and also it looks like a pipe or some sort of tube that is just inside the door. Now there's a conveyor system that will take that raw material and move it over to the plant itself for processing. And the first place that it goes is the pyrometallurgical processing part of the factory. And this uses a rotating kiln and cooling system kind of a heat treat calcination process that will change that spodumene concentrate six into eventually spodumene uh, beta and then alpha and that is used for the processing that continues through the hydrometallurgical process which is that middle section that uses a lot of tanks a lot of aqueous mixtures and of course that inert materials that is uh, being debuted here at the Tesla plant and it uh, helps with the process by not relying on sulfuric acid, which is uh, really caustic. And also it dispenses with the need for large brine tanks, which is what you see at most other lithium plants. Now this middle section is continuing to be assembled. There is still a lot of work with this part of the factory. It is the largest of the three main sections of the plant itself. And it is uh, making a lot rapid progress and I'm Kind of expecting that we're going to hear something from Tesla soon, maybe the next month or two, that they've got this at least in testing and doing some of that work to make sure everything is operational. And at the very end is the processing and packaging portion of that uh, facility. We can see a lot of crew working on the ground floor and preparing that for operation. That's where they take the lithium hydroxide that is the output of this plant, package it, and then they ship it up to Giga Texas for an input to the battery cathode plant where the process continues up there. Now, another thing that I did notice is next to that raw materials facility, there is a new electrical substation that is designed to take the power from a larger substation far to the north and then uh, process it here so that they can use it for the plant. And that has been uh, put into place since the last time I was here in early January. The other thing that is very noticeable is that large pond that we saw being excavated on my previous video now is getting a large liner installed. And once that is completed, they will fill it up with water. Again, this is not necessarily directly related to lithium processing like a brine tank, but it's rather to provide water for the site since they do not have water utilities out in this location. But anyway, a lot more to see and talk about in the main video. So we'll get the drone in the air. We'll take a look and see what the lithium plant looks like today. As always, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it. So let's get to flying and see what's going on. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. Well, good morning from the Corpus Christi Lithium Plant near Robstown, Texas, also near Corpus Christi, Texas. 
As I mentioned in the intro, I wanted to start off on a high altitude view of the site, give you a kind of a good bird's eye view of where everything is located. You can see the new pond on the right hand side of the screen, the main trailers for the offices and uh, some of the uh, support facilities for the crew and the employees. You see that uh, Quonset hut tent, the bottom right, that's where they've had a lot of materials stored and one of the very first structures put up here. And of course the main plant or specifically one half of the plant and uh, the clearing in the middle is where we will see that expanded so that there'll be two parallel processing lines once completed. And then of course the very large raw materials processing warehouse where the spodumene concentrate six will be brought in initially, sorted, managed, and then put through that conveyor system to go over to the plant. We also see a new electrical substation in the bottom left, and that is bringing the power in from another substation several miles to the north of here. And of course, uh, another material staging yard at the bottom of the screen where more of the items are being stored temporarily, including some very large pipe segments on the center of the screen and that all going into the main plant. So this is the view from the west looking to the east across the facility. And I hope that you enjoyed this very large, uh, uh, expansive and high altitude view. So I'll bring the drone down a little lower and I'm going to uh, proceed up to the north and let's take a look at how the site looks from this perspective. As I mentioned, these are those large items, a little closer view. And I believe these are more of the processing parts of the factory, probably in the hydrometallurgical portion of that plant. And we'll get much closer views of the plant itself here momentarily. Now I'm flying a little farther to the north across this field like uh, area. You see the road in the middle of the screen that proceeds up to the north several miles to the electrical substation, which is still part of the site. It's a very expansive site. You can see the power lines that uh, trail to the north just going underneath the drone and how it connects to that new smaller station next to that raw materials facility. Now these two Quonset huts are also some maintenance facilities and they are also in this area where there is more materials uh, being stored. This is also where the rotating kiln and cooling system was initially uh, manufactured and assembled before moving over to the mounts on the plant. Now, back in January, I showed you this section of the site that was being excavated, and it looked like it was a much larger pond, and that is exactly what has happened. They have a berm around the perimeter. They have now putting in the liner to make sure that it is uh, waterproof. And uh, as this work continues, they will seal the seams and prepare that for filling. I also mentioned in the intro, but I think it's worth saying again, this is not for brine tank uh, manufacturing or processing of the spodumene to lithium hydroxide. That is not the process that is being used here. The site does not have water utilities out in this location. So having these ponds, and especially one that is lined to make sure that the water is um, in good quality, will help support the facility itself and the processing uh, that goes on in the facility, but it is not a standing brine tank. And you see there's another one of these large ponds. This one is not lined. It's one of the original ones. I think it's uh, also part of the water management system since this is a low-lying area. They do get a lot of rain and the water table is fairly high. So I think that we may see this being used just for that water management as there is a kind of channel that cuts across the top of the screen, the facility on the uh, west side or the east side, and then goes to another pond on the south side. But this is a good lower altitude view of all of these ponds and how they are looking as they continue to be shaped. Now, as I'm gonna fly back towards the main facility, we'll see where there is an expanding uh, parking lot for a lot of the contractors and the employees. This site is becoming much more operational. A lot more people are working out here now. And as we get more and more of their milestones achieved, we're gonna see even more of that. Now, as I continue to fly along this east side, you can tell there's another set of uh, warehouses or workshops, uh, some trailers, some other equipment. And we see this kind of a pump house uh, or a 
kind of a terminal here at the bottom of the screen with some of those kind of teal pipes and uh, just where it is located in relation to the main factory. Now I'm going to bring the drone in even closer, passing over this section with some of the trailers. And we're going to start here on the south end. This is where the lithium hydroxide would be packaged as a final product and then shipped out through this section up towards Giga Texas for additional processing at the cathode plant. What we see here now is work on the ground floor and some of the uh, uh, machines and the hoppers that will bring in that uh, finalized lithium hydroxide and prepare it for the packaging. The bulk of the factory that we see here in this close-in view is the hydrometallurgical processing part of the plant. Now this uses a lot of aqueous mixtures, some inert materials, a lot of these tanks that will have that uh, liquid kind of uh, mix and as the spodumene proceeds through this uh, hydrometallurgical processing part, it goes through a bunch of different stages and eventually comes out with lithium hydroxide on the south side. Now I'm gonna pull back a little, give you a closer view of the trailers and also that uh, kind of iconic archway that says Tesla lithium. And you can see that in the middle of the screen with that grass uh, astroturf. That is where the groundbreaking activities took place back in May of 2023. So they are continuing to make a lot of progress here. And if you go back and look at that groundbreaking, you'll see that there was basically nothing Nothing behind those archways. So I zoom back in. I want to show you a closer, lower in view across the hydrometallurgical processing part of the factory. You get a good sense with the workers of scale, also of the height. We can see some of these larger tanks and some of the covered areas that have tanks as well. Now, this tank section is right in the middle between the two parallel processing parts of the factory, and this will be shared when they build the second site, which is directly underneath the drone, and it will mirror what we see on the top of the screen. On the left, we see the Evapco cooling units. It's kind of a chiller plant, uh, kind of a Quonset hut here for uh, some of the maintenance and operations uh, that are going on at the moment. And this is a very good close-up view of the pyrometallurgical processing part of the plant with the rotating cooler with the white jacketed uh, uh, clamshells on the left and the rotating kiln in kind of that uh, rusty looking cylinder and you can see the uh, bearings that they are mounted on and it allows it to turn also see the control office next to that is really coming together now we do know that they've been using some of the spodumene concentrate through testing through that rotating kiln for processing so that continues this is also a great shot of the uh, conveyor system that moves that spodumene concentrate from the warehouse over to the plant and I wanted to come in a little closer, a lower altitude, show you this uh, new substation here that brings that power in, and what it uh, looks like. This is critical for making sure that the plant has the power necessary to do all of the various processing steps to take that uh, raw spodumene concentrate kind of powdery material that would be in this warehouse and go through the entire process coming out with bagged lithium hydroxide for that shipment up to Giga Texas. As we are at a lower altitude, I wanted to come back and just fly over this material staging yard one more time, and I'll reposition the drone so we get a view of that uh, entire plant from the opposite direction, and uh, we'll also see some other developments. around this corner, I did notice that there are more trailers here at the bottom right of the screen. Uh, what I do not see is that rail spur that would go through the area where we see kind of that dirt uh, road in the middle of the screen tra trailing off to the right with all of the equipment and the vehicles. So that has yet to be added and that will bring rail traffic to bring that spodumene 
concentrate to this part of the factory. Now, I did notice that they have these ramps that are being assembled next to these receiving doors. And of course, that large cylindrical item being moved inside. So that is a kind of an interesting development as the work on the inside of this raw material processing warehouse continues. Nice shot of that conveyor system that I mentioned. And as I uh, indicated, this brings that material over to begin processing through this part of the facility, which is that pyrometallurgical processing. Of course, that rotating kiln on the left, that rusty big tube, and that jacketed rotating cooler. Once it ends that process, it is moved over to the hydrometallurgical processing plant. And this is a really nice close-in view with great lighting of how this entire facility is coming together. And also just the expanse of how large this facility is. And I mentioned again, this is one half of that uh, processing plant. You can imagine kind of a mirror image of this on the other side in the center of the screen with that large clearing. Now there's this very large uh, tank that has been uh, assembled on top of this structure on the left hand side of the screen that is new since the last time I was here and they've also added that silver tank on the bottom left last time I was here they were putting in that ground slab for that tank and uh, some more nice views here of just the extent of the assembly and how all of this plant is coming together with a nice view across the entire site with that lined pond that we visited earlier in the video. As I round the kind of east side end of the plant, I'll try to maneuver the drone to give you an overall view from this perspective of the plant and how it all looks and comes together. And just recapping again, we have that raw materials warehouse in the upper left. It goes through the plant, the pyrometallurgical, the hydrometallurgical, and then the bagging and preparing for shipping part of the plant in the bottom right. And then where that dirt roadway parallels the plant will eventually be approximately the location for a rail spur that will connect to the existing rail line, which you will start seeing at the bottom of the screen as I pull away. So that brings to a close this view of the Corpus Christi lithium plant and its current situation and uh, progress. I think uh, what we will probably see is some uh, words coming from Tesla later this spring about the initial operation of the plant, and then we'll see what they say as far as when they're going to hit full operation. I would expect that later this year. So anyway, I appreciate you viewing. I hope that you enjoyed this look at the Tesla lithium plant. And again, thank you for your support. Have a great day.